Apple is about to change the world and usher in a new era next week at WWDC, revealing literally the most complicated Apple product ever, as I'll show you in this video. And don't just take my word for it. Apple just put out this tweet saying, a new era begins. So they're very confident that they're about to change the world. Not only that, but there are a bunch of other hints and leaks that prove Apple is 100% releasing their headset at WWDC, including Apple's blog posts on their developer website titled Code New Worlds, which could only mean one thing, VR. But the best part of all of this is that Ross Young revealed the specs of Apple's new headset, which I'll explain in a minute, but first, let's get into the leaks. Just the other day, Yaroslav Beck tweeted this, hinting that June 5th would be awesome, even including a pair of glasses, which can really only mean the VR headset at WWDC. And if you don't know who Jaroslav is, he's the co-founder of Beat Saber, probably the most popular VR game ever. Now getting into more leaks, an iOS developer was able to trick Apple's App Store Connect into showing the VR headset's XROS operating system name, which was leaked by Mark Gurman and other sources quite a while back. Mark Gurman himself also recently tweeted that he expects Apple to focus on three things at WWDC several new Macs, the mixed reality headset, and new software, with him expecting this to be one of Apple's longest keynotes ever. And seeing as Apple's headset will handle both VR and AR, I think it's gonna be incredibly complex, which was actually something that The Information reported on just yesterday. They said that the headset is the most complicated hardware product Apple has ever created due to its unconventional curved shape thinness, and ultralight weight, which has resulted in its expected $3,000 price tag. On top of that, they also mentioned that Apple actually had to create bent motherboards in order to fit the design perfectly to make it even thinner, which sounds incredibly complex. Now that makes me very excited because it seems like Apple is about to make basically the best VR headset ever created in all time, and all while being the most high end in terms of the specs as well, and probably the software too. Apparently, the information viewed internal digital renders of the device and explained it as a piece of curved glass with edges wrapped in a smooth aluminum frame, appearing slightly thicker than an iPhone, which sounds absolutely mind blowing. So thankfully, Ian Zelbo created some new renders based on all of this info. But first, I've gotta shout out our partner Bandwork, known for their high quality Apple Watch bands and other leather accessories handmade in Germany. Right here in front of me, I have three excellent bands, including this nice green genuine Cordovan leather Zurich band and their dark brown Napa leather Berlin with high quality titanium hardware. But my favorite is this very unique stainless the steel band that looks and feels super premium with its butterfly clasp and it also comes in a darker anthracite color as well. So check them all out by using the link below and use code MAXTECH23 to get a free one ounce leather cream with your premium band from Bandwork. As you can see, the headset looks absolutely beautiful. He packed in vents for airflow, a crown and button for controls like on the AirPods Max, microphone grills, and antenna bands, as well as this braided shroud, which seems to use the same material as Apple's HomePod, or maybe it's something new that's even softer. And then within that shroud, Ian imagined how the lenses might look with their covers, with some glowing light coming from them, but of course, we don't really know what it's gonna look like until we see it next week. And now, let's get into the massive leaks from Ross Young explaining all of the display specs. Apparently, there's gonna be two 1.41 inch displays which use micro OLED technology, which is extremely expensive, with an insane quality of 4,000 pixels per inch 
and 5,000 nits of brightness. Now that PPI is absolutely mind blowing because Apple's retina displays have a pixels per inch of just 281, which is what their high end 6K Pro Display XDR gets. With the best PPIs usually getting to around 460, like on the iPhone 14 Pro. So 4,000 PPI on the headset sounds insane, and it's gonna make sure that you're not gonna notice any pixels at all, even though the display is gonna be right in front of your eyes. Now Ross Young gave us even more detail, saying that it should have 4K resolution per eye to get the 4,000 PPI. And just for extra context, Sony's new PSVR 2 has a PPI of around 800, nowhere near Apple's new headset. On top of that, the 5,000 nits of peak brightness is also incredible compared to only around 265 nits on the PSVR 2. This basically means that Apple's headset will be a massive innovation in display technology, allowing for experiences that aren't possible with any other product in the world. So now that we have those specs, the high price tag is actually making a whole lot more sense. However, there was a leaked bill of materials that showed a bunch of different components and the prices for them, totaling to around $1,400 or around $1,600 with shipping costs included. That source also claimed that Apple would try to make this a not-for-profit product in order to lower the initial cost, so potentially it might be close to $2,000. But if they want to go the profit route, it may be as much as $3,000. Now the only downside of the headset will be that it requires you to carry an external battery pack which is connected with a single magnetic connection which Ian Zelbo showed off in his renders. Now this is something that other companies have done in the past like the DJI Goggles 2 which requires an external battery in order to save weight and make it more comfortable. So I'm actually glad that Apple went with this route instead of making the headset even more heavy and putting a strain on your head. And now let's finally finish off with the features and apps that Apple is planning to bring to their headset according to leaks from Mark Gurman. Right off the bat you're going to have the ability to run most of Apple's existing iPad apps in mixed reality, which blends AR and VR, including books, camera, contacts, FaceTime files, freeform home, mail, maps, messages, music, notes, photos, reminders, safari stocks, TV, and weather. Now imagine how that's going to work on the headset. On top of that, you're going to be able to run thousands of existing third-party iPad apps from the App Store with no extra work. It's just gonna run like Rosetta for the Mac. There's gonna be a new wellness app focused on meditation, featuring immersive graphics, calming sounds, and voiceovers, which actually sounds kind of cool, putting you into a more calm mood. There's even gonna be a new portal for watching sports in virtual reality as part of Apple's push into streaming live games and news, which is kind of insane. There's also gonna be a large gaming focus, including top tier titles from existing third-party developers for Apple's other devices. And that might actually be why we saw Hideo Kojima near Apple's headquarters just earlier this month. There's also gonna be a feature to use the headset as an external monitor for a connected Mac. There's gonna be advanced video conferencing and virtual meeting rooms with realistic avatars, ideally making users feel like they're interacting in the same place. There's gonna be new collaboration tools via the Freeform app that let users work on virtual whiteboards and go over material together. Just imagine that you're in a room with avatars writing on a whiteboard project at the same time, just insane. There's gonna be a new VR focused fitness plus experience for working out while wearing the headset. That sounds absolutely awesome and very useful but that feature might not come until a little bit later. Now here's a really cool one. You're gonna be able to watch videos while immersed in a virtual environment, such as a desert scene or in the sky. 
That is absolutely mind blowing. Imagine you have a nice environment and just a big screen right in front of your eyes. And with all of that, users are gonna be able to operate the headset in several different ways, including by hand and eye control and Siri. And it's also gonna work with connected keyboards or controls from other Apple devices. Now imagine using your eyes to control things within the headset. That sounds absolutely insane. And then on top of all of that, there's gonna be apps from third-party developers as well, with Apple unveiling a software development kit and Mac-based headset simulator to help developers make awesome apps. So with all that said, I truly think that Apple is about to change the world with the VR headset. The only question is how many people are actually gonna be able to afford it during these hard times. Hopefully Apple makes some kind of payment plan to make it a lot easier to buy one of these. I guess we're gonna have to find out in less than one week at WWDC. So if you're as excited as I am, go ahead and click the circle above to subscribe so you don't miss out on our WWDC videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.